Hi everybody, Skylar Nakins here with Southwest Missouri Sports, joined now by the coach of the Staley Falcons, Coach Neff. First off, you know, welcome to Springfield. Yeah, and thanks so much. So you guys come into the tournament, perfect 10-0. Um, you know, just kind of talk about this first part of the, the season for you. It took a while for it to get started. Our first game was December 8th. So starting practice October 31st and having had the seven weeks that the state association allows us for three hours a week, we we were deep into our work before we ever got to see somebody else. So the kids were pretty excited to finally play against somebody. So we played three in a row there and Blue Spring South Tournament and fared well. And then I uh, got to come home and play Oak Park. And then we went over to the William Jewell Holiday Classic and, and played a couple more uh, games in, in league play. And here we are today. So, you know, all the talk around your team, you know, obviously revolves around Caden Fish. Um, you know, just kind of talk about what he brings to the, uh, to the game and, and to your team. Caden's been just kind of progressively getting better throughout his career. You know, mo most yeah. of what, you know, our team with, with, with Kyan being a freshman starting point guard back four years ago, you know, Caden was coming along. And what Caden's done down the stretch of his career to get into the position he's in now and to be the leader he is and then the, the dominant force he is, it's been really impressive to see the work. Now, obviously, you got talent uh, up and down the roster. What's a few other names that uh, Southwest Missouri should be looking out for? Well, three of our, our senior athletes ha have signed to play Division I basketball yeah. at Indiana State for Cameron Manyow, at Colorado State for Kyan Evans, and then Iowa State for the aforementioned Caden Fish. Uh, the other two seniors that start for us, Larry Parker and Jared, uh, Jared Lee, like they've been four-year varsity kids for us, and they've been really prominent contributors to our program throughout their time here. Um, Xavier Wilson is a sophomore of ours who's, who's got Division One offers that's got a chance to be a really special player and hopefully get a lot out of him this weekend as well. So this is Staley's first appearance in the Tournament of Champions. Mm -hmm. Just what does it mean to your program to get the invite this year? Oh, it means everything. I'm so lucky to have had some of the relationships I've built throughout the years with Josh Scott who, who basically, you know, is, is the one who, who made it possible for us. Uh, I've beat on his door quite a bit in the spring to, to see if there was anything available and then by the time August come around and there was an opening he he made it happen for us so we're really excited and, and really just thrilled for the opportunity more than anything else because of what we know this is and what we know that that it's been it's it's going to be really special for our people. So you're going to be playing on a, a court that's familiar to you. I mm -hmm come and uh, play, finish third in uh, the state championship uh, you know, last year. Um, what kind of uh, advantage does that give you guys, You know, just being familiar with the court? Yeah, that's uh, really, really important, honestly. Last year when we came down here was, was 22, and uh, in 20 we made it down here and COVID canceled it. So our, yeah. our kids that, that you know, were Caden and Kyan were big time contributors as freshmen on that team they didn't get to play in the in the final four that year so that would have been huge for us in 22 to have had that experience well now that we've had the 22 final four experience being at the Bass Pro tournaments kind of probably be something we're a little more familiar with and, and understanding what this is the arena the atmosphere and you know what Southwest Missouri understands about basketball and how well represented they are so you play one of the toughest uh, you know schedules in the state uh, you know you talked about uh, some of the tournaments you've already played in and uh, and won uh, how does running that gauntlet uh, prepare you for a tournament like this? It's everything. I think we owe it to the kids to give them that competition. And as a coach, I, I really want our teams throughout the years, you know, I, I'm, this is my 19th year coaching at the varsity level, and I've always wanted my teams to have to play well to win. There's nothing worse than having a subpar performance and, and you win and, and, you know, you just – I'm not sure you can learn much from that. I think right. it's, it's better to face the adversity. I think it's better to face the tough competition. I think if you're thinking at all about postseason play, you want to play the best that you can so that you're prepared and you don't get knocked off. So you have a first round matchup with a Calvary Christian out mm -hmm. of Florida. What do you know about them and what are you going to have to do to move to, on, move to the right side of the bracket? We've watched quite a bit of film. Um, I happen to coach Ethan Lathan in, in the MOCAN organization over the past two summers, so pretty familiar with him. Um, know that they, 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 they play the same type of schedule and, and travel the world and they get out there and, and get after people. So we're going to have our work cut out for us against the athleticism they possess, some of the size that they possess, and the fact that, you know, we will not intimidate them in, in any manner. There will be no reason for them to, to feel any bit intimidated by us because of what they've seen and what, who they play. So we'll have to play hard to win. 
So obviously this is a business trip for you guys, but mm -hmm. at the same time, you know, it's a, it's about making a, a uh, you know lifetime memory for oh, yeah. for these players. What are some of your guys' plans, you know, outside of the gym? Well, with the basketball, it's win or learn. <laughs> we're just here to you know compete and hopefully we get a chance to play really well and win in advance. If if not, we're going to learn a lot. With regard to the time we're going to spend together and, and what Springfield offers and and the Bass Pro in particular, we're going to take full advantage of that and the opportunities that. That, that this, you know, that this this tournament and, and this this city afford us, we're, we're going to have the fun. Um, can't wait to get out to, to the Bass Pro Shops and can't wait to get out in, into the hotels and into the restaurants and just kind of really put ourselves in Springfield and enjoy everything that it has to offer. And just finally, you know, what's what's your expectations of your team and uh, you know coming out here? More so than anything else. We ask our guys to just really compete hard yeah. and, and play with a great attitude. And the number one goal right now, and, and, and until we are zero and zero again in the playoffs, is to just, just get better, just, just improve daily. Awesome. Well, there you have it, guys. Coach Neff from uh, Staley High School from up in Kansas City. Thank you for your time, and, uh, yeah. and good luck this week. Thank you.